Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to welcome our finalists onto the court for the Brisbane International. Please welcome onto Pat Rafter Arena, world number 13, Madison Keys. Madison Keys was impressive to take down Petra Kvitova in the semi-finals yesterday. Can the American kick off 2020 with a trophy here in Brisbane? And put your hands together for the reigning champion, world number two, Karolina Pliskova. 15 WTA titles she has to her name, Karolina Pliskova, but last year's champion here is looking to do something she's never done in her career. Years of age. This is actually her 11th season on the WTA Tour, so she is really an experienced player at the age of 24. And of course, she has come close to Grand Slam success in the past to reach that US Open final, losing out to a good friend, Sloane Stevens. Do you think she's the sort of player who can put it all together and win a Grand Slam? I think absolutely when we look at some of the Grand Slam winners we've had over the past few years that the opportunity has been there and in that time she did reach the final. I think it's getting tougher and tougher now at the top. The uh, younger players are gaining lots of experience. Yuri Osaka's Andreescu winning slams already and uh, getting that in the bank. But I mean, she's always a threat. As, as you say, that clean striking is just absolutely Three outstanding. Minutes. She's still fairly flashy when it comes to it. So she can play tournaments where she falls a little flat. But once she gets going, it's tough to stop. And another player who is tough to stop when she gets going, Karolina Pliskova. I mean, the, the semi-final we saw yesterday with Naomi Osaka. I know we're early in the decade, but that was the match of the decade so far. It was outstanding. <laughs> Standing quality between Pliskova and Osaka, a joy to watch. And you can just see the, the score line there, 6-7, six, 7-6. Seven, seven, six. Those first couple of sets were a joke how good they were. And then in the end, Osaka just fading away in the third set and uh, Pliskova coming through. It was very impressive. Oh, what a performance uh, from Pliskova. The, uh, the level of resilience shown through that match was just absolutely extraordinary. A heartbreak of a first set to lose, such a long and gruelling tie break. Then down match point in the second, managed to turn it around, coming through that breaker, and then just ran away with it, got the grip of the third and just was not letting go. And 
the level of consistency she showed through 2019 was just exceptional. You know, world number two, four titles, including winning here. You know, she loves the Aussie summer. She really does thrive in it. And actually looking at Madison Keys, her previous match down 6-3, two love. So both players really looking like they're on their way out. But we might have got a very different final, but both of them forcing their way through to this position. So they've earned the right to be here. Yep, absolutely. As we uh, said hello to uh, Maria Chichak, the uh, the chair umpire for this final, one of the very best uh, umpires around. So as we check out the head-to-head, -head, which is non-existent, it's uh, a real surprise that these two have never crossed paths before. And uh, afterwards, after her semi-final yesterday, Karolina Pliskova was saying, yeah, it's actually, <laughs> it's going to be the first time that we've played. It's the only top player at the moment, really, that I haven't played but uh, of course I know the game of Madison Keys pretty well I've watched her a lot and do we One know each minute. other but they have never played before is that going to be uh, interesting yeah I think it will actually I, I don't think there'll be too many surprises they play a fairly similar game like you know really you'd be putting them in the same box of course there are nuances and, and differences be between the two but on the whole, neither one does anything to the other that, that they're going to hate, apart from the big serving, the big strike. But they're used to that. And uh, being big strikers themselves, they, uh, they'll they know what their opponent is seconds. going to enjoy. So I think they'll be able to just get stuck straight in. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will play best of three direct sets. Karolina Pliskova, one of those Sancho's to Reese. It is the final of the Brisbane International here at the Queensland Tennis Centre, the wonderful Pat Rafter Arena. The setting is Madison Keys takes on Karolina Pliskova. End of warm-up. Can the Czech win this title for a third time? It's been a, a super week of tennis. We've seen such a strong field. and Well, these two are the last two Plus standing. It. It was Pliskova who won the coin toss, and she's elected Medicine to receive to first. So I want a, a closer look at this key serve right away. Ready, play. Fifteen left. Right. That's a Thirteen. Fair amount of tape for uh, Carolina Pishkova on that thigh and also the, the right shoulder there. Yeah, it looks like that peck is covered in the, the upper thigh on that left side. I mean, she's bound to be stiff. We talked about the quality of the match that she played against Osaka. What? That's a it was relentless. Yeah. I mean, both players saying that it was just such a high level. Could have been a Grand Slam final easily. And if it was, I think we would, <laughs> we would have been chuffed to bits with that. And I think electing to receive is interesting Fourteen as well. Left. And I would anticipate that there's a bit of fatigue and she just wants to kind of shake it out for a game before she hits putting pressure on her serve. That's shaking it out nicely. <laughs> Olga Savchuk in the uh, Pliskova camp. See, working alongside uh, Danny Valvadu as well. But uh, Olga's been with Pliskova for a little while. Olga, of course, has done 13. some work with us in the past uh, in the commentary box, Naomi. Yeah, pretty uh, 
good gig to get. She's known Carolina for a, a long time. We've scared her away, though. Yeah. <laughs> She's fed up with us. Back on tour. Yes. Genghis. Yeah, it comes through it. Got a little bit more awkward than she would have been hoping for Madison Keys when she was 40 lover, dragged to juice, but uh, job done that first game in the pocket of the uh, American. Oh, well, this will be first strike tennis at its best, won't it? Both of these players, that is what they like to do, dictating within the first two or three shots of the rally, mainly with the serve or return. They get a clean strike on the return. You've got to be careful with the serve. Both of these players will have to be precise. We know they've got a lot of pop Carolina. and pace, Pliskova but if that just goes into the slot, it's just going to get fired away. We already saw a couple from Pliskova in that previous game. It will be a great start to the season once again for Pliskova. She won four titles last year. It all kicked off with that title in uh, this event. That's a nice strike. Madison Keys with uh, a couple of trophies herself last year. Charleston on the clay and then a big one in uh, Cincinnati on the hard courts. Oh, she was on fire in that week, wasn't she? Watch carefully the, the serve for Pushka. She was brilliant with it in the semi final against Osaka. But with that peck being taped and the left upper thigh being taped and also opting to receive, uh, all of that points to the fact that she might be a bit fatigued with that particular shot. That left leg is the landing leg, and you really do put a huge amount of strain through that part of the body. And of course, it's the right peck which really you're using mainly on the serve to snap down. And yesterday she hit a lot more serves than Osaka did. She was under much more pressure. Really having to tough out a lot of her games. So both players up and running in this final. One game. Carolina Pliskova, who uh, beat Lesia Sorenko 12 months ago in this final. Also a champion in 2017 here, beating Elise Cornet. That was a, a one-sided final, 6-love, six 6-3. Six Last year's was much closer. Sorenko pushing her all the way, three sets needed. Oh, that's fire back at Keys. Love it. Yeah, I think Pliskova was uh, anticipating Keys was going to guess a direction, but she just stayed in the middle. Took the blow. Don't think it was the paciest of shots, so seems okay. Fifteen all. Yeah, Pliskova was asked, wasn't she actually? 
after her quarter final whether this felt like her second home seeing as she had won here so often but there is another tournament that maybe rivals it every time she's won here in brisbane she's also won in eastbourne yeah. so that might be uh, a favorite so i wonder if she'll pick up both titles once again Of course, on the grass. Maybe she just likes tournaments near the coast. Yeah. Forty, thirty. They spawn, of course, right down on the, the south coast of the, the UK. Wonderful to get a, a new season going. All the stories that will unfold in 2020. Yes. Well, again, a bit of pressure for Keys on her service game. Yankees. Two players who uh, really do possess Keys big plays. weapons on serve. Two games, two. And they have uh, played out three games, and it's all on serve. As these two battle for one of the first trophies of this season. Keys 2-1. Good crowd, in, as you would expect for this final. It's been excellent crowds all week. Both these players, we know we're going to get a huge amount of winners. They can come from anywhere on the court. We'll get some errors as well. It's par for the course if you're a fan of either one of these players. Although the big exception for Pliskova was the match yesterday. It was extraordinary. Barely hit any unforced errors at all in comparison to the masses of winners she fired down. She might be tempted to challenge it. Wasn't far away.
Trying to find the angle. That is just a whisker wide. Fifteen. Such a little breeze going across this court. It's not as uh, sunny a day as we have had over the, the past week. It's actually uh, pretty overcast. There's a little bit of rain about. Had quite a lot of rain yesterday evening here. Of course, we do have the, the canopy roof. Nice. Yeah, really making sure that she found the width on that forehand, even though she was moving backwards. Had to try and deal with a little bit of depth from Keys. Game, police cover. Two games. Love it. Now this is a chance. Yeah, it just just looks a little sharper in these opening stages than keys. Oh, just too much pace on that. Couldn't even find the strings. And Pliskova loves playing here in Brisbane, of course, but also the Australian Open. I think she just loves the start of the year. She's always fresh, ready to go. Clearly put in work on the pre-season training. Some players, it does take a couple of weeks just to get things set and, and off and running. Oh. 30, 50. But I love from Pliskova that after each off-season, she comes to the tour, to the new season, with with a just an extra shot, something, a new skill, something added to her game. Something is has so vastly improved. She does really well with the development. Forty fifteen. Of course, last few results at the Aussie Open, a couple of quarter-finals, and then the semi-final last year. Yankees. With a flourish. Keys. Madison Keys, Keys calling uh, her coach Keys. Juan Tadero out onto court for the first time. Leads the way, 3-2. Okay. Isn't one thing that is super important? I think he's the same. Yeah. I'm going to talk, nothing changed. Okay. This match is going to be, the team has a little more courage. What do we want our ball to do? We want our ball to go and we want it to break through the ball, right? When I see that I see it in the wall, the lies where it goes there, I know why it's not going to happen. So you have, to, you have the choice of saying how you want to get out of the court. I might make it, it might go in, it might go out. But I want that ball to break through the court. I want to hit it with impact and fire, so that's intense. It all comes down to intense. The tip margin is good. You see that point, how the ball runs? It's normal anyway, no? I mean, he takes the but the quicker you do it, go for the returns like you've been doing all the time. We practice this a million times. Imagine Vincent on the other side. You know? That's what we're looking for. You get that, you go. Have the courage to have the right intention.
positive start for Madison Keys. Leads the way. Well, that was the sort of shot that actually her and coach Juan Tadero were just talking about. He was saying, got to have the courage to really go through the shot, try and get that zip off the court, get the penetration. Overall, I think he was fairly happy with uh, what she's done so far. That's more like it. Yeah. It's exactly what he was looking for. <laughs> 15. Uh, that is a rocket. What a chance. That set the point 30, up so nicely. 15. Well, she's had two short balls in this game and a second serve to look at. She's down 30 15. Missing a couple of put away opportunities. Oh, what a serve that is. Yeah, Keys was miles away from it. It's practically a body serve on the other side of the court. Such swing around this. First days for Pliskova. Yeah, perhaps it is just warming up, you know. That serve, that shoulder, that pack. Three. Games on. Cranking up the serve. A couple of big ones to finish that game. Let's first serve. to apply the finishing touch. Yeah, really nice there from Keys out on the backhand side, right in the corner under a lot of pressure, but managed to fire it down the line. He just saw Pliskova right on the stretch there. Thirty, fifteen. Five titles, she has won in her career so far. Compared to Pliskova's 15. That's Just away. Well, I like her response though after her coaching consultation she's just letting the hands go through the shot a bit more and it is just getting that extra bit of juice on the ball and it's that that five percent that really could make the difference
40, 13. Nails it. New balls, it's an absolute ripper up the line from Keys. Keys leads. Four games and these two play. continuing to trade blows early on here. The American unwavering. 4 3. So looking to level things up again here. Please cover. Love it's a great team. return from Keys out wide on the forehand side, able to drag that back into play. Yeah, if one of these players could just string together a couple of nice crunching strikes, they might just be able to get the break. Is this the moment to strike for Keys? It's just totally different, isn't it? Just that extra little bit of heat on the ball. And you can just see that Plishva can't lean on the ball. She can still strike the ball OK, and it's not overwhelming her. But as the rally continues and progresses, it just becomes more and more difficult. 15-13. We've got to remember the match against Osaka. How many times was she down in her service games, fighting her way back? We saw her at Love 40. Big serving, getting her out of trouble over and over. Only got broken once. Right point chance. Fourteen. You don't get too many chances yes. against Karolina Pliskova to break through. 
Yeah, that pickup forehand behind the serve for Plitschko. I mean, it had to be wide. If it was anything within the key strike zone, I think she would have lapped that up. She's really started to find her range. She's hit a fair few unforced errors, but a lot of that in the opening stages of the match. Advantage, Plitschko. Well, Pliska were asking the question, should I have that point? And Maria Chichak saying, I don't think so. <laughs> Replay the point. Use. That's a clean strike there from Keyes. We can see actually these players are similar and there's a really strong pattern for both. The first serve returns when they're getting a clean strike on it. A lot of the time just going right back at the server. They know they've got enough pace to knock them off balance and rush the contact points. It's the second serves they try and look for a bit more width with. Advantage, keys. Oh. Both players very high with their first serve percentage, 74% for Keys, 68 for Pliskova, and I think that's because they recognize the threat. They don't want to be sending down a, a fair few second serves for the returner to have a look at. But also they, they have to be precise. So I, I think possibly just taking a touch off. We're seeing a lot of slice serves. We've even seen a, a couple of top slice from Keys going in. So they're not trying to just nail it the whole time. They need to get it out of the strike zone. Game, Does come through a really tricky game. Carolina Plishkova. Game's on. As her team watches on. All fairly tight and tense this at the moment. Yeah, that swinging serve down the tee to the forehand of Keys working really well. She might just be saying, I fancy this first set, you know. Yeah, serve going right in the slot. Pliskova leaping all over it. Leaning through with the shoulders. Love 40. Oh. Bullseye. This is why you don't want to offer up the second serves to have a look at. Just a couple of missed first serves in this game for Keys. Game, please go. And there we go. 
Pliskova strikes first. She gets the breakthrough. And she will serve for this first set. Well, that sometimes happens like that, doesn't it? She was susceptible yes. on her own serve. Had to really fight hard. And then she struck the very next game. Lovely. But the threat remains. And Key's just sending down a reminder that she can string together a few winners of her own. Love yeah, and it's, it's exactly the right approach, right? She's already down a break. She hasn't been able to break the brisk of a serve, but she has been in the service games. Just got to step up and really go for it. Let's <laughs> Had to put it away eventually. 15, 13. Yeah, some good chasing there from the American, though. So that's why I think she's a, <laughs> a little frustrated. Did really well to read a couple of those. But Pliskova has just looked so solid at the net, hasn't she? Throughout most of last season. So it's a, a new dimension to her game. Very old. That serve again. That's the ticket for Pliskova, swinging she, down the tee. And she's really exaggerating the swing. Sometimes she just puts a little bit of cut on it, but we saw one early on which was ridiculous how it just bent around that center line. And she knows it's going to be effective. Keyes has got to try and find an answer for that. It is set point though for the Czech, the two time champion here in Brisbane. To take a big step towards a third title here. Oh. 
Let's first. Up. Not yet. Yes. It's a cracking return, though. Right under the feet of Plishka, really tucking her up. Advantage, Plishkova. Take two. All very tight, that first set. But late on, Karolina Pliskova says, I'm having that. As the defending champion hits first in this final 6 4. Pain or nervous? You are super flex, so we need energy now. You are. You but no, 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 but your flat body language is flat. We need now, like, push. Come on, 30 minutes you work and be more vocal. Scream sometimes, come on, or point, whatever, but loud. So she also feel it and hear because you're total flat. And uh, yeah, yeah, but doesn't matter. You take the side, you take the game. Just be more fired up and she is helping you, you know? So, uh, and that's it. You're under control of the game, even like this, but please, more energy and we're gonna help you. So come on, 30 minutes, work hard, yeah? And, and, and show her that you're more reaction and be more vocal. And on um, important points, when uh, you're returning, we think cover more forehand, but just be aware of it. But all the same way, just come on. Yeah, but still you, but still you're winning the points. Just all you need really, it's, it's because she doesn't give you any rhythm. So that's why you feel like shit. But just just an energy up yeah. you're, and you're in charge of the game yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, if you don't feel like just laugh at least about it because yeah. <laughs> you look no, like <laughs> total kaput yeah. because <laughs> come on more, more, more life come on okay. come on where was you come on time well, quite clearly that the message from uh, Olga Savchuk at the end of that set to Karolina Pliskova, even though she took the first set, was uh, we need to see more from you, a bit more Sinset. life. Yeah, very much focused on the body language, wasn't she? The energy, I mean, she's clearly a little fatigued after Keys. the semi-final, a bit seven. nervous as well. And then just you don't get much rhythm when you play against Keys, so you don't get anything to really get the blood flowing. But yeah, I think she, at the end she said you look totally kaput. So <laughs> <laughs> but she's just won the first set of six yeah. four in the final. But I actually think that it shows just how well Pliskova is playing at this stage in the season. The fact that she's feeling fatigued, she's got taping on, she's nervous, a bit flat. You know, it's difficult playing at somebody like he. She doesn't get the rhythm that she's looking for. And actually, very good set. Thirty fifty. Yeah, it's going to be an important start to this second set for Madison Keys. Try and settle back into it. Didn't do a lot wrong in the first set, but just that one break going against her. Fifteen. 
Yankees. Pretty comfortable. First game, yeah, first game for Keys. As she tries to send a message to Pluskova. This is not going to be a simple task for you to uh, claim this title. Well, the other thing that uh, Olga Savchuk was talking about with, with Pluskova, she said, look, she's helping you as well. And uh, a lot of that is down to the unforced errors. Uh, a lot more for Keys than there have been uh, for Pliskova. Pliskova looking at a little tidier from the back of the court. And that really has given a helping hand to Pliskova, maybe just made things a little more comfortable. So if Keys can find her range, but I did feel like at the end of that set, she was starting to tighten up. I felt like the majority of those unforced errors came at the beginning. Yeah, right on target there from Plushkova. It was a, a successful season, uh, her best ever season in terms of amount of titles won last year. Uh, four titles two on the hard courts one on the clay the title in Rome and one on the grass in East Bourne. For me, it was just her best season 30. in terms of the, the level we were seeing. I, I know that she'd reached number one in the world back in, in 2017. That was also a very strong year for her. But, you know, more titles, big titles as, as well with that Premier 5 event in Rome, as well as the other Premier events scattered throughout the year. It was so consistent, just the level, the demeanour, the resilience, everything looking at its best. And actually for Keys it was probably well, arguably her best One season as well. She didn't hit the heights of a, a Grand Slam final as she has done previously, but it's the first time she's won two titles in a season. First time she's won a Premier Five event, winning in Cincinnati, huge tournament that. First time she's won a title on clay. So a, a lot of firsts for her, again just showing the development of the game. And for me, that's the most important thing. Now both these players have been in Grand Slam Finally. finals. We, we know that their best level of tennis is just phenomenal. But actually, I feel like they've both raised the level of their lowest standard of tennis, which is just as important with the amount of matches, the Wait amount of weeks that we have on the tour. want to make sure that you tighten up the range that you actually perform in. Yeah, crowd enjoying that one. That's hammered away.
Paul Tiller. Again, keeps convincing once more. Races through that game. Keys leads two games to one. And she does have the advantage again. 2-1. Time. High quality, this uh, final, as we expected it would be. Fifteen. Saw the gap. Knew she just had to get behind the ball with that left leg. Be nice and strong. Brilliant execution. Keys just had a bit too much ground to cover. She was also going back behind Pliskova, so she was ready and waiting. She does just possess that <laughs> firepower. <laughs> the return can come back with so much pace. Well, we knew we were going to get first strike tennis. We haven't been disappointed. Yep. Game, please. Two games. a bit of a gift. 
Love hitting. Yeah, the short balls just haven't been clinical for Keys, have they? It's just a little bit in and out. No. 15. Forty fifteen. Pretty focused, clear minded here, Madison Keys. Too many double faults we've seen. Oh, oh no. Uh, from a uh, a position of comfort, this might just start to get a bit awkward for Keys. Yeah, the front court section of her game is definitely a weakness. And it's just been shown up here. I think from the back of the court, she has been matching Plishkova well. Serve, of course, has been very effective. Maybe a touch high with the unforced errors. Advantage, Keys. Because what you're looking for, really, I mean, with the strike of keys, is if you can't hit a winner, is to get that short ball. So she needs to be able to deal with that short ball clinically, make sure that she's winning the vast majority of them. Feels like an important game right now. Yes. Yeah, this is about the time that uh, Pleshkova will need to find that energy that Olga Savchuk was asking for. And alarm bells ringing for Keys. Pliskova makes it. A clever improvisation on the return. A little chop down backhand slice. It was right into that left shoulder. It was awkward. Ah. Missed it. Pliskova with the break. Midway through this second set. It's what she was after. Can she go on and make it count? 3-2 to the check. If you put the play, you know, you can only walk here or here. And you miss it then, it means that the setup is good. Even more, now it's better. You went from slow, too, too fast, and you cannot settle. But first set, how many chances did you have? Yeah, I'm not converting anything. Oh, there you are. So when you have those balls, you know, have know, it's a short ball. Should you hit an approach in it, or should you hit it and go back? 
you know what I mean? So, what is it? So there's a little bit of doubt on the show. Again, that one that you move around, they're very good. You came through outside, good. The target is, is very far from So if she makes you force out, she's doing what you get. She's making you a little cross but you did it good and giving you one more, so you miss it. She passes you, she passes you, but you have to play with your mark. If you have a short one, she didn't approach the net. Logic, without thinking too much, the mark, you're not playing the point back. Now, the return, once they get the back, you got a turn and you can stay with it. Defending, same thing, you're hitting and you're kind of holding it. So it's about you. Not letting all these things, all these things affect you. If you are able to get it together and get in the zone that we know where you can play, where you play with Margie, where you set the point up and you set it up, set it up. She gives a good shot. Okay, we gotta be there. we gotta be good in that way. Keep fighting. Don't say that. All right, continuing the words of encouragement as he makes his way from court, went to Dero. Madison Keys needs to dig deep here. Well put away. The American also perhaps has to hope that Pliskova's serving level drops. Yeah, there's always something that Keyes can do to get out of difficult situations because she has such huge weapons. So that's a, a big confidence boost for her. Gotcha. And one of the big messages from Juan Tadero, something that he talks about in the first on-court coaching session, margin. Such a big thing for Keys. Don't want to back off on the aggression. You never want her to hit the ball softer, but just play with a little bit more margin. It has been a, a touch too much in and out. Well, this would be the perfect response from Keys. That may be Pliskova thinking, not that it's job done, but you know, setting a break. That is a huge step towards taking the title once again. But Keys was a set and a breakdown yesterday. Came back to beat Kvitova. Scruffy game please. from Carolina Plisko, but you have to say all credit to Madison Keys. Three well, you said that she'd need to hope that the serving level of Pliskova drops, and it's exactly what happened. She missed a lot of first serves in that game. Percentage down at 36% for Pliskova in this set. So not surprising that Keys enjoyed having a look at the second serve. Great fight from her yesterday, Keys, as she was at a set and two love down against Petra Kvitova. Came back to claim it. Rattled off six games in a row to take the, the second set, 6-2. And kept on cruising, 6-3 in the third. That's the firepower she possesses. She really can rattle off a few games in a row. Fitting. Oh. 
Well, Pliskova needs to make sure she doesn't allow this to turn into a real momentum swing for Keys. As you say, Mikey, she really can just get things rattling off. And again, we saw that yesterday. Momentum was swinging around all over the place. It's a good couple of games for Keys. She's able to find a break to love and then a service hold to love. You can't ask for much more than that. The American leads. Time. Needs to get back on track here, Pliskova. That was not what the doctor ordered for her. A couple of wayward games. And the first serve percentage is way down on this set. 33% in this second set. Oh, just about does enough. Keys for a moment thought she was going to reach that yeah, it just floated didn't it? it just kept hanging in the air he's unable to jump up high enough in time it looks like Pliskov has just hit a little bit of a wall in terms of the physical and mental energy oh, it was grueling yesterday it was grueling for both players let's be honest but that match with Osaka it was such a high level for so long both coming through three setters so it's going to be a bit of fatigue hanging around humid day yesterday we have taken it out of the legs That's what she was looking for. This looks okay. It's a challenge by Keys. I thought this was well in. There we go. Forty, 
again. Well watched. Back on track. Well, it's five from five at the Four. net for Pliskova. Looks Game so on. solid. Really sensible moves forward there. That's a, an excellent game. You can see she was really trying to summon up some extra energy. Love it. This oh, wasn't far away. Left passer line, the ball is called out. Right away, Pliskova challenging. It had a bit of bend on it, didn't it? I whether it curled in right the last second. It was an early call as well. well she's hoping. This is a big moment. Oh. It's in. It's a super shot. 15, 13. And that's a great way to hit back up in the quality of these two now. Yeah, weather's flying all over the place. That was the reaction to Hawkeye saying that's good. That's probably the best shot of the match. Yeah, frustration's building now. She kept it together so well uh, in the, the semi-final. It's a bit different. She said she was nervous to Olga Savchuk when she first came out onto court. Of course, it's the final. It's just a completely different feeling when you play against Keys. Yankees. There was some jeopardy there. Keys comes through it. Keys leads five games to four. And Plushkiva will look to try and stay in this second set. to keep this second set alive here, Plushkiva. Serving at 5-4 down. What?
Good. Bishop can really do with finding some first serves here. And he's creeping up that percentage slowly. Pace is just down a touch from previous rounds. Yeah, definitely looking tired on that serve, isn't she? Completely understandable. Yeah, first week of the season. It's uh, always a tough one. And that match last night, a long one. Just about a quarter of an hour short of three hours with Naomi Osaka in humid conditions. Just a case of whether Madison Keys can take advantage. Virtue. Set point keys. 13, Great return there 14. from Keys. You could just see Pliskova always falling behind in that rally. Was trying to regain her balance. Shot after shot under so much pressure. Again. Out it goes. Excellent fight back from Madison Keys. We saw it yesterday in the semi final with Petra Kvitova. And this one, this final, going the distance in Brisbane. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're off to a third and deciding set here at the Brisbane International. After American Madison Keys letting things up here in the final. This is the first time these two players are facing each other. Well, number 13, Madison Final sets. Well, does Madison have Keys. the momentum? 
Two serve. Just faded away, Karolina Pliskova, at the end of that second set. Yeah, you could just see that physically and mentally the fatigue it, it almost overwhelmed her she was doing her best to just keep it at a level where it was okay to be able to compete no. her energy levels just dropped off i mean a good 30 percent i reckon it was quite significant but has already started this set with a lot more movement a bit more energy already Heard some noise from her as well, being more vocal. Fifteen. Tough to say at the moment, Naomi. But where would you, who would you give the edge to right now? Oh, the momentum is building for Keys. I just think if Pliskova can't get her serve going again, which I think is where most of the fatigue is being felt, she's got the taping, which are in areas that's linked to the serve as well, then I think this will be for this match will be for keys. Oh, that was good. 14, that's Miss Pliskova, she's on the call on the left. Yes, headline the ball is called in. Was called in. There we go. That's why she's one of the best around, Maria Chijak. Good overall. Keyes' range has been building as well as the match has gone on. She's got her margins looking a little bit stronger. It, there's always an element of, you know, she plays with high unforced errors. That is part of her game. But if you put that together, the building of Keyes' consistency together with the fatigue maybe building for Pliskova, could be swinging in one direction, so it's really going to be up to what Pliskova can do to sort her serve out. Very nice. Yes. Game keys. And Madison keys. Does open up this deciding set with a, a service hold. Can the American just deny Karolina Pliskova the chance of a third Brisbane title? Well, you can just see there the first serve percentage for Pliskova dropping down below 50. It was up at 58% in the first set. But also what we don't see there is uh, the difference in speed. It has dropped off uh, a fair chunk as well. So not looking particularly favorable for Pliskova. Nice and tidy for Madison Keys. Less unforced errors in that set and of course still firing off plenty of winners. Oh. 
beating them. We actually haven't seen a huge amount of the jamming serve, yeah. which I th is somewhat surprising, I suppose, because I think that both players are a little vulnerable to it getting caught up in the shoulders or sliding into the ribs. Both have really been trying to get it out of the strike zone with width rather than tucking them up. Fifteen. Thirteen, fifteen. Yeah, lovely serve. Yes. Wow. Both of those second serves, she really went for it. Yeah. And again, okay, you've got the threat of keys at the other end, so I, I can understand that. But uh, yeah, she's struggling on this serve now. Oh, we can't see that taping on the left there. I think she's really struggling on that push off. Like you said earlier, Naomi. Gets this one. And that is where you'll feel it if you do an excessive amount of serves, which is what she did yesterday. It's that left leg because you drive off it as we see there. You also land on it. So you're doing essentially a single leg squat. You'll be doing hundreds of those in a match. And then, of course, that peck as well is taped, really forcing the arm through. Game finds a couple just when required. One. Game on. La fifteen. Yeah, we've had a few lengthy ones where they've been thumping it down the middle, yeah, haven't yeah, yeah. we? But it haven't had too much of the move and strike. That's what you get when you have these couple of players matching up against each other. We've never seen them play before. It's pretty much gone as expected. I don't think any surprises for either player.
bludgeoning it at each other, aren't they? There again, not a huge amount of movement. It's just all pace and depth. Who can force the contact point back of the opponent? That is the goal when you get into a sort of a, a slogging rally like that. done that's super width there and that by contrast because she's playing with so much more width in that point then the tactic really you're, you're trying to get your opponent off balance you get a short ball that way those are the two ways to get an unforced error or a short ball does land safely. Keys leads. And Madison Keys hits the front in this deciding set. Where is this going to turn next? 2-1 to the American. She has never successfully defended a title, Karolina Pliskova, having won 15. Oh. Oh, not far away. Again, okay, it was a really aggressive yeah, second yeah, yeah, yeah. serve there from Pliskova. Not too much shape on the ball. I think possibly recognising it in the second set, because she had a low first serve percentage, it hurt her. 
as Keyes was really going after those second serve returns. So maybe she's thinking that she's got to put more on that second. Oh! Well, has she not gone up the line? <laughs> Such a big gap. The majority of the court gaping. Just set up a little early. Sometimes with the big strikers, they think that, well, even if they're standing there, I can hit it well enough. So you just pick the spot and hit it regardless. Game play score. Continue to match each other stride for stride here. So it serves much better from Pliskova in this final set. Just having a look at the comparisons between matches on the serve. Yeah, this was last night from uh, Pliskova on the left. Yeah. Certainly more spring in uh, the the step yesterday. It was a fairly tight turnaround time. I mean, she finished yesterday evening. Yeah, and 8 o'clock. She's so good at the net. I actually feel so confident when she moves forward. She just makes sure that she does enough, which is what all of the best volleyers do. They keep it very simple and just execute, particularly on the first volley. Top. Miss Plishkova is showing the call on the left baseline. The ball is called in. Wants to check it. Plishkova. She's looking a little low of energy overall after what's been a, a really impressive week, a, a tough week. That's on the line. 40, 15. <sighs> Not happy about that. You heard the racket drop there from Plisha. <laughs> I think she's looking absolutely exhausted, to be honest. Game piece. Slams the racket down. And it's Keys again who gets her nose in front. Just about doing it up right now. All we have to do now is play a little bit better than her. All you have to do. But but I, I know. But attitude is something that you can. Ch you are in charge and you can change this. Maybe not the game, but the attitude, yes. And you have to be better than her because now you are equal. So only positive. Now it's not the time to complain. You push yourself until the limits. Only positive energy. And you go for the forehand. Don't think, just go for it. Swing. 99% you're playing backhand cross court, so change sometimes down the line because she just stands from there and hits. Be brave now. Don't think about anything. Just swing the forehand. Don't think, just go through, follow through. And really, Rafa Nadal moves. What can be. Yeah, but you try, try, try again, try again. It doesn't kill, come on. It's, look at the score. You always have break points. It's all about altitude, I'm telling you, and energy. Don't think, don't complain, just, just work hard, come on, last 15, 20 minutes. And, and embrace yourself, scream, come on, like, positive. And more down the line if you feel it. Come on. Off goes Olga Savchuk, trying to keep the positivity there for uh, Karolina Pliskova. 
Just wants her to, to show a bit more energy. Yeah, it was a fairly positive chat, wasn't it, from Olga Savchuk saying, look at the score, come on. We're on serve here in the final set. Oh, it's been so good. It's so effective. If I were, I'd just keep going there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, there's been one that hasn't worked. Good advice from 15. coach was just to switch it down the line a little more. She's just become a bit predictable, which can happen when you get fatigued. You're kind of just picking the safer shots, the more comfortable shots. You're not necessarily seeing the opportunity in the spaces as sharply as you would be. So just a reminder to, look to open up. And then really it was the theme of it's all about attitude. Oh, yes. Hit back with some of vengeance there. It's amazing the impact that Three being this fatigued can have on your game. There are so many areas we talked about the physicality, the energy, the serve mentality, you know, also seeing the tactics, being sharp on court really just does impact every area. And also one of the things that Pliskova did so well yesterday was keeping a lid on the frustrations. It's almost impossible when you're tired to keep control. And we saw in that last game the frustrations boiling over for her. Keys looks fairly calm and collected. Got her eyes on the prize. Let's close. Now that goes. Not going to take much to separate these two. Might just be the one break of serve late on. And there's a big difference, isn't there, in the energy from either end. Key's looking very positive. She's got a bit of a march on as well. She walks around the court. 40, 50. Yeah, there's a little spring in the step of Keys.
Yeah, I just wonder if that will have a big impact, if, particularly if this set goes deep. Start looking at a, a tie break, five or six or something like that. And Lishkova is clearly just trying to cling on. Got to her quickly. Advantage. Pliskova. Sails long. Uh, it's a big reaction from Pliskova. That's what Olga Savchuk was looking for. She has the break. Fifteen. Well, it's uh, a double fault. We've seen uh, a few from Plushkova in this deciding set. Lights. First serve. Fifteen. 
Yeah, now it's the turn of Keys to just be frustrated. Radio. Oh, that's a beauty. Hammered away. And one game will do the trick. Again, just so much resilience from Pushkar. It's so impressive. Can't imagine how she's feeling right now. Edging closer. Keys is still going for it. She's played some brilliant stuff in this match. It's just been a, a little too much on the patchy side, and that's the balance that she always needs to, to try and find. There's still enough time for her to turn this one around, though. Bullseye. Good in, good in. Just didn't quite stay down on that one. Needed to use the legs a little more. Fourteen, thirteen. Big booming serve. Another. A pair of aces. As Madison Keys asks the question of Pliskova. Super important that you stay with those marks. Let's see if you guys have a tight on the outside, you know? Especially on the returns, no returns cross for a middle and anything wide. Alright? Sorry, what? No returns cross for a middle and anything wide. Let's make a play. And when you have it, anything depending, you go. Middle, middle, when you have it, you go to the side. Keep playing with those marks that you don't take very far from the line. So you don't need to. Okay? Set the point up and do it. Remember, middle, 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 you have it in three. Okay? We're still in it, alright? So we gotta go for it and let's make it work for it. Come on.
serving for the championship here. It would be a first ever title defence for Karolina Pliskova. But she is just going to be put under the microscope by Keys. And the aim for Keys in, in this game is to get as many balls back into play. Again, Coach Juan Tadera out on court talking about margin, saying keep it central before you've got the right ball to go to width with. What's a closer look here, Pliskova? There it is out. 15-30. Miss Pliskova has no more challenges remaining. It has just been a devastating shot for Pliskova. All in all, the serve has not been at its best, but that particular one, swinging down the tee, it's just been relentlessly effective. It's not done yet. As Madison Keys has a break point here. Which he takes. Five apiece. Well, she read it, didn't she? Five, that serve didn't quite have as much bite on it as the previous swinging ones down the tee, but Keyes also wise to it. Just anticipating shifting over there. Meant she got a really good strike and got the ball back deep. pick up and is this just swinging the way of the American well she really has maintained her positivity well and her energy through this match Fifteen. Getting down so well. See, see, they're staying right underneath the ball all the way to the finish of the shot. Oh, 
Wow. That's a tame one. Yeah, she just, those unforced errors have been hanging around, and as I say, it's not unexpected, but she hasn't really gone a, a long period of time where they've been well under control. Yes. But as much as she is capable of hitting a couple of unforced errors here and there. The winners, oh, that's just superb. What a clean strike. Advantage, keys. Advantage, case. Pliskova just trying to get every drop out. Does she have enough energy to get over the line? And Keys is making life difficult. She looks like she's got a lot more to give. Oh, yeah. Perfect backhand yes. from Pliskova. down the line shot hasn't used as much today I think a lot of that to do with the fatigue such an effective shot just couldn't find a way past it first two attempts going right down the middle and Krishka looking so so solid Stats on the points, one at the net, just excellent. 10 from 11. Out. Big reaction again. And she'll serve for it again. Karolina Pliskova. Can she get over the line this time?
time. A perfect start. Sent down the tee. Will it be a no-nonsense game to finish off? Championship points. <laughs> Karolina Pliskova <laughs> takes the trophy <laughs> in Brisbane <laughs> again. She is now a three-time champion of this curtain-raising event. And it is just a dream start to her 2020 season. She is making this city feel like home. And as she heads over to her team, job done in three sets. Well, what a performance from Pliskova, and I know it's not the level of tennis we saw yesterday, it's nowhere near her best level, but the willpower, the resilience to get every drop out of herself to get out of the line, just phenomenal. Got a feel for Keys. that was a real opportunity there. It felt like Pliskova was on the ropes. There, another fist pump and a smile, that's what it means to her. And she, she knows how to win in Brisbane. She loves it here, so another huge result for Pliskova. I think both of these players, they're coming off the back of their best ever seasons, and I think they'll be going into an even better one now. So an exciting way to start off the year. Yeah, very much so. Just a word on Madison Key. She had her chances. There'll be disappointment there, certainly. Yeah, there will be, but she's played a lot of good stuff through the tournament. Uh, she came back from being down a set and a break against Kvitova. She was down in this match, had to rally round, got back into it again. So, again, showing that competitiveness, that fighting spirit. And, uh, you know, her game is unquestionable when she's on form and, and feeling good. So it was a good week for her. But Pliskova was just tough as nails. It's the triple crown for Karolina Pliskova now. Trophy ceremony will be coming up shortly. I think something that will be particularly pleasing for, for Karolina Pliskova is the first time she has ever successfully defended her title. She's won a, a lot of titles. This is number 16 for her now. But the fact that she's just come back and defended will be very pleasing indeed. Good final, and it was a final worthy of this week. We've uh, seen some supreme entertainments here at the Queensland Tennis Centre over the last seven days. And uh, a three-setter between two outstanding players is a nice way to round off what's been a, a brilliant tournament. And it's uh, a very popular tournament. Oh, absolutely. It, it really is. I mean, it gets a strong field every year, doesn't it? I'm sure Pliska will be back <laughs> once again. And uh, it, was, it was the tournament of the power hitters, wasn't it, really? That semi final lineup, I mean, Keys against Kvitova. And then you know, we also had Osaka taking on Pliskova in the other semi final. It was big hitting, and, and that's what we got in abundance in this final as well. And, and Pliskova, she was the best of the lot, I think. She was the best player through the tournament and a worthy winner. Got over the line. There were moments where she just looked out on her feet. But she had enough about her and the serve 
found its mark late on. A really convincing game to, to finish off the encounter. And that coming after her failing to serve it out a couple of games earlier. And it's high fives for Olga Savchuk and Danny Valverdu. That's the coaching team at the moment. And the team has started off with a win. And she will be a very big competitor at the Aussie Open. Ladies and gentlemen, what a week it has been here at the Brisbane International. Capped off with a wonderful three-set match between Karolina Pliskova and Madison Keys. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome onto Pat Rafter Arena to join our finalists, the Honourable Cameron Dick, MP, Minister for State Development, Manufacturing, Infrastructure, Planning and Acting Queensland Premier. Tennis Australia board member, Mr Peter Robertson. WTA Tour Supervisor, Donna Kelso. Tournament Director, Mark Handley. And finalist in 18 Grand Slam singles events, winning at Wimbledon twice, the Australian Open four times, the French Open once, and a US Open runner-up four years in a row, with seven Grand Slam doubles titles to her name, former world number one. Please welcome Australian tennis legend, Yvonne Gulagong Crawley. I'd now like to introduce Minister Cameron Dick, Acting Queensland Premier, to say a few words. Well, distinguished guests, including Australian tennis legends Wendy Turnbull, Ashley Cooper, and of course the amazing Yvonne Goolagong Corley. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what a great afternoon's tennis we have witnessed on Pat Rafter Arena. At the outset, can I uh, very briefly thank everyone who makes this tournament such an important part of the calendar of sporting events in Queensland each year. So to the tour tournament organisers, the sponsors, the staff, the umpires, in fact to everyone who contributes to this tournament, not to forget the ball kids and of course our amazing volunteers. Thank you for everything you do. Yeah, let's hear it for the volunteers. Thank you for everything you do to make this such a special event for Queensland. And now on to the stars of the show, uh, to Carolina and to Madison. Thank you for a fantastic final here today. And can I also thank you for your generosity. Uh, the last few weeks for our nation have been tough ones. And the contribution you have made uh, to the firefighters and to the fire ravaged communities of Australia that you and other members of the international tennis community have made is greatly appreciated. So thank you so very much. <laughs> Congratulations again on a fantastic game and wish you, we wish you all the very best for the future of the Australian summer of tennis. Good luck in Melbourne. Thank you, Minister. Well, now it's time to make the first of our presentation. So please welcome back Minister Cameron Dick to present the trophy to the finalist, Madison Keys. say congratulations to Carolina and her team for a great first week and um, good luck for the rest of the season. Um, thank you to everyone who came out and supported us and watched us this week. We really appreciate it and we love um, feeling at home in Australia with all of this amazing support. So thank you to everyone who came out this week. And then thank you to all the WTA staff, all the volunteers, the ball kids,
the transport people, you are all amazing, and every day we walk in, everyone's smiling and so nice, and we're so happy to come here at the start of our year. So thank you to everyone, and bye. <laughs> The winner of the Brisbane International Singles receives the Yvonne Goolagong Pauly Trophy. Would you please now welcome Yvonne to present the trophy to our 2020 Brisbane International Women's Singles Champion, defending her title, Carolina Pliskova. This is a little low for me. Um, <laughs> I also would like to start with Madison. I think you played great tennis this week, especially today, and I'm sure you're going to have many more titles in the future. So, also good luck in Melbourne. Yeah. No. <laughs> And, uh, of course, thanks to my team. I think they were great this week. Uh, with Danny, especially, it's our first week, but he's used to winning Brisbane, so it's nothing new for him. And with Olga, I think I never lost with Olga. So far, we have two titles, so I think... And Zula, thank you also. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I was enjoying always to play here. I think this is a great place for me. Every year I start with a title. It's my third title here, so... Um, I'm going to be just grateful to come back every year here and thank you guys for your support. It was amazing and I hope to see you next year. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again to our special guests and dignitaries and one more time, your Brisbane international champion, Karolina Pliskova. Thank you. Fine start it is to the new campaign for Karolina Pliskova. Well, she was pushed in this final by Madison Keys. Do you think Pliskova will take great confidence moving on in the rest of the uh, Australian Open series? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look, she does well here. She does well in Melbourne in general. Last year, she reached the semi-finals, had that epic battle with Osaka. And uh, before that, a couple of quarterfinals as well. So, look, she's dangerous. I think she's playing better than ever. So that makes her even more dangerous. Wouldn't be surprised if she goes on another very deep run there. I tell you what, no one is going to want to be in her section. And she found a way to get it done here this afternoon there were moments where we thought she'd lost her way but she has a, an inner strength an inner confidence and I do like the way that she's pretty level-headed no matter the circumstances yeah I mean she started to lose it a little bit in the final but a lot of that was just the frustration at how tired she was and she just wasn't able to play the way that she wanted to but she managed to do just enough that's what was asked of her was just play a little bit better than keys at the end of the court and uh, you will come away with the title and she managed to do that in that final set it's just consistent enough but through the week I mean that match against Osaka for me it's the match of the year uh, the level that she produced some of her best stuff ever so level-headed so